BMW i4 is one of our best of 2022. Joining me today is Mr. Vitesh Brar, Head Marketing BMW. Thank you, Dhruv, uh, and thanks for the honor. Well, we're big BMW fans, um, and I have to be honest, long question to start with. When we were getting a BMW EV, I was wondering how BMW would retain that fun to drive DNA. And your engineers have been successful in doing so. But prior to this car coming in and you actually getting a chance to drive it, were you also concerned about how that BMW fun to drive DNA would remain intact? So, absolutely. Um, uh, being a complete petrol head, right? I have been always in awe of how BMW engineers have put together the product, how dynamic the products are and how they handle. Uh, it's not about 0 to 60, it's about how they go around a corner, right? Yeah. So when, I think back 5-6 years back when we heard of uh, BMW getting more aggressive products in EV, this was obviously, um, you know, a question in all of our minds uh, within BMW. However, we were really confident that our engineers won't let the ethos, the uh, you know, dynamism of the brand go away from the product. And well, boy, have they delivered. And you've driven the car. Uh, it absolutely retains what BMW stands for dynamically. It's right on the point where the petrol or diesel engines uh, or the proper M's were. Yeah. So, this will be at the core of how things develop from here on and this will be the biggest differentiator with any other EV in the market or any other mark in the market on how BMW will uh, progress from here. So the next thing I have to be honest that I was not 100% sure about was the new styling direction and I asked Vikram about it last year and he was very bullish and now of course the customers have proven that they've more than accepted, they love this new slide styling Absolutely. direction. But was there a debate in within BMW when this de design direction was being discussed? Not at all. Not at all. So uh, the thing is, uh, whenever we've seen any renditions or any photos of how the car looks, it is a little aggressive. It takes a little getting used to. But um, be it the i4 or the M4 or the iX or even the next generation 7 series that we will launch in the market soon. Yeah. These products somehow grow on you, yeah. right? Uh, I, I still remember, going back a couple of years, I still remember the first time we saw the photos of X7. I was thoroughly impre impressed, yeah. but a couple of colleagues were a little skeptical on how the looks would be, how the, you know, uh, that, that uh, big uh, grill face would uh, sort of um, uh, fare in the market. However, uh, the more and more you see the car on the road, it just has an absolutely um, uh, different presence, which is really appreciated and accepted by uh, our uh, prospects and customers here in India. So this will continue and trust me, the future products, I've seen a couple of uh, products in, uh, uh, in the portfolio under development. They retain a similar sort of a look, uh, but they are aggressive and uh, you will get used to them and you will appreciate them when they come to the roads. And the i4, coming back to it for a second, yeah. if somebody wants one, what should they do? Uh, uh, tough question. Yeah. Uh, we've Since we've launched the car in May 21, um, we've been flooded by the bookings. Uh, honestly, now uh, in retrospect, we underplayed or we didn't realize how quickly India would adapt to the electric mobility from uh, uh, conventional engines. Yeah. We've been swamped with orders. Uh, we're already taking bookings towards end of 24. The only the only thing that I can uh, suggest or I can recommend is wait. It'll be worth the wait. Just yeah. be at it. And can people expect the more powerful versions of both the i4 and the iX as well? I won't comment on it uh, right now. Uh, we are trying to fulfill all the back orders first. That is our priority uh, to the customers uh, that who place their orders. That's our commitment and our um, our priority here. Uh, at this moment, there is no plan to get the more powerful versions, but we will obviously look at how the market develops and if there's a want and need, we will of course evaluate uh, further. And with the EU saying that they plan to ban the sale of all ICE sales past 2035, what is what kind of an impact does it have for a market like ours going forward? So, India is, in a lot of respects, different than EU. 
वेर हैज देर बी वेर एज टीयर वन और इवन सम ऑफ द टीयर टू सिटीज बिहेव इन अ मैनर इन एटलीस्ट इन आर सेगमेंट ऑफ वेर और हाउ कस्टमर्स आर बिहेविंग इन यूरोप वी विल सी द इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन अडेप्टेबिलिटी एट अ मच हायर पेस इन दीज सिटीज हाउ एवर वी स्ट्रॉगली बिलीव देर विल स्टिल बी अूज एंड रोबस्ट डिमांड इन टीयर टू tier 3 towns of conventional uh, drive trains where the infrastructure and even the electric road map is not as robust as in tier 1 cities yeah. so um, uh, coming back to your question we see a gradual uh, uh, trade off gradual um, penetration of electrification vehicles there uh, higher in tier 1 but maybe slightly lower in tier 3 however i must say uh, what we thought of probably 3 years ago is no longer valid and we will continue monitoring this yeah. every year on year on how the government and how the uh, other other industry in india develops and looking at those traditional vehicles what is the current split between petrol diesel and what is the future of diesel in india so uh, in our portfolio we offer uh, our our motto is to offer power of choice be it electrification be it petrol or diesel we want to offer whatever the customers or consumers um, demand uh, we are not here to say we will uh, switch off diesel from tomorrow we will see how the uh, you know market responds and we will only go to a 100% petrol plus electrification if the the market moves in that direction uh, we've seen a certain shift when euro 6 standards or bs6 standards were introduced in india all of a sudden the demand for petrol uh, vehicles gasoline vehicles went up we've also configured our supply accordingly but we see a mix uh, you see cities in gujarat you see uh, cities in the south there is still a robust diesel demand yeah. right so where in towns and cities like these the want or the uh, need from the customer is to travel long distances yeah. that, till the time that problem is solved yeah. we see diesel not going away anytime soon and in terms of suvs to your sedans what is that split right now so we are more or less trending towards a 50 50 split okay. uh, it is as of now a more a function of supply than demand right uh, from a demand perspective we have i i can't give you the figures uh, because uh, that'll not be true uh, uh, reflection of where the market is yeah. we've been struggling with uh, uh, fulfilling back orders for a couple of vehicles which are on 3 or 6 month waiting um, we see however in the long term india developing more towards a suv market given the comfort factor that we need but that is not something that will happen tomorrow yeah. we see that towards probably later part of the decade and going forward what can we expect in the near term 2023 so uh, electrification number one uh, we made a promise in december 2021 we when we showcased the ix for the first time uh, to everybody in india that in a span of 180 days we will have the most extensive uh, product portfolio in the luxury segment we lived up to the promise with the launch of ix obviously which was a high end suv then uh, we followed it up with mini bev from a group portfolio perspective which is yeah. a fun uh, city uh, dweller hatch yeah. and then uh, obviously uh, got i4 these three products will not be the only products in the in our electrification strategy there are more to come right now i don't want to reveal what products would come in the next 3 uh, 4 6 months but there will be two three additions here uh, from a 23 perspective i think uh, without going into details of which products we will see the most aggressive product offensive product portfolio offenses that we've ever seen from bmw in india in our last 15 years of existence wow. so that gives you uh, that gives you a flavor of where things are heading yeah. and we'll already start that in uh, uh, end of december and we'll follow up with a host of launches in quarter 1 uh, quarter 1 calendar year jan to march well thank you for keeping us busy and thank you for making evs fun to drive thanks bro and, thanks bro uh, and thank here. you for uh, uh, get, uh, getting us best of uh, 2022 Thank you. Thank you.